Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. It's about 11.30 this morning, and I just washed my hair. I took my braids out, so um, I'm sitting here eating a little bit of breakfast, watching some YouTube, and I'm about to get ready to uh, blow dry my hair out. Um, I usually don't blow dry my hair when it's out natural, but um, I don't know. I'm kind of just feeling like doing something out of the ordinary since my hair has been in braids for the past three months or so. And then later on tonight, I'll probably just braid it up and do a braid out tomorrow. Matt's in the office. He is uh, on his computer doing his thing. And maybe later on, we might go for a little trail walk somewhere. We need to go grocery shopping, so we might do that too. All right, so here are the materials that I use on my hair. I've got some Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Leave-In Conditioner. And then I use this Hydrotherma Naturals, and uh, it's pretty low in the bottle. So I mix it with a little bit of water. And then to seal in the moisture, I use coconut oil, which I have soaking in some warm water here so that it's nice and liquidy like it is now. And then for a little bit of heat protectant, I just use a little grapeseed oil because it does really well at high heat. So here I am you guys, back with my natural hair. Feels good to have it out and to uh, be able to put my hands in it. Um, I didn't blow dry it completely, it's still a little damp, especially near the root. But that's where my hair is like really kinky at that point, so I didn't necessarily want to put the blow dryer through that part anyway. But uh, anyway, it is all fluffy and soft and oh, I miss my hair. But um, I'm happy to have it back, and it, I think it grew a little bit. So, yay, natural hair back. <laughs> so we finally got out of the house, and we are on our way to somewhere. We don't know where yet. We just wanted to get out, and uh, we're thinking about going up to Broomfield, possibly uh, to the Flatirons Mall area. The time change, did you all set your clocks back? I mean, you don't really have to these days if you use mainly your cell phone and your computer clocks but it's kind of throwing me off today earlier when I was recording the video I think I told you all the wrong time I think I told you it was like 11 but it was actually really 10 we're going into P.F. Chang's Matt was singing Aaron Neville songs I was singing a uh, a rendition of a Aaron Neville song by what's that dude Bobby Caldwell I was singing Bobby Caldwell does Aaron Neville in an Aaron Neville style Complicated. Dang, complex. Oh man, forget about my hair flying in my face. I got some tea here. It came in this really cute teapot. This cute teacup here. Is that cast iron? Uh, I don't know if it's cast iron, but it's some type of metal. And then we got some pot stickers. <laughs> Almond cashew chicken with rice and pad thai. I think we're gonna have to get some more rice here. Oh, I think that's just for you, babe. Thanks. Oh, okay. Do you want it back? Give it back. Yeah. <laughs> here, can you scoop it? It's yeah. too far. Wow, the mountains look so beautiful out here. The camera just isn't doing it justice, but they're really clear right now. They look like crystal mountains. Look what I found. Size small. Put all my little <laughs> shirts on this. Maybe I should have thrown that in the trash. Yeah, probably. Somebody lost it and they'll come back for it. Yeah. Where's that small hanger at? Got some nice men's shirts in here. Matt would probably like something like that. This is also good um, wear for underneath your clothes during winter. It's kind of like a uh, long underwear material. $26. Uh, that's a little high, I think. Something like this. You get that at Target probably for like $12. I was kind of unimpressed with that Nordstrom Rack in terms of prices. I didn't feel like anything that they had in there was worth the amount that they were asking for it. I saw a pair of boots that were cute. They were like $125. 
I know that Nordstrom, it's a pretty pricey store, but I don't know. I feel like the rack is supposed to be the discounted store. It was discounted, but a $125 pair of shoes is not much of a discount to me. So it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you get lucky when you go in there. Sometimes you don't. But I'm walking up to Best Buy right now to meet up with Matt. Oh, we were just looking at this camera and saw that the the lens actually moves. It has like a built-in image stabilizer. That's it's kind of cool. neat. Yeah. yeah. That's what Matt's been doing in here is looking at cameras. Just checking stuff out. Oh, that's a really slow zoom. Probably helps with focus. Does seem to be staying in focus. Hey, we're going to see a movie, John Wick. We'll let you all know how it is. Come with us on a new trip. We just got back from the movie theater from yes, seeing uh, John Wick. And um, what did you think of it, Matt? I thought it was a okay movie. But uh, it was just basically just a bunch of violence. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give away any spoilers or anything like that. But uh, I like a little more story in my movie. A little more plot and substance. This is more kind of like a traditional uh, martial arts movie, except just with guns instead of martial arts. But it was well choreographed and well done and good cinematography and okay acting, good, good enough acting. Mm -hmm. You know, it kept my attention, although I did fall asleep in one part, but that's kind of because I was a little <laughs> tired. It's not necessarily the movie's fault. Um, but it was all right. What did you think? Um, I thought it was good. I'm trying to think what I recommended. I would recommend it if you're not sensitive to violence because it's a very violent mm -hmm. movie. So mm -hmm. if you're not into that kind of thing, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, see. If you're not into that kind of thing, then you're not going to want to see it. But, yeah, I agree with Matt. Um, it needed to have a little bit more of a plot development, I felt like. That was kind of lacking, but it was good. Good effects, good uh, characters, good acting, I guess, for the most part. But, yeah. So if you want to go see a movie... That is, a, I guess, kind of a thriller type of movie. And if you like Keanu Reeves, yeah, I would recommend it. So, yeah, we're back at home for the night. And oh, time change. Time change. I guess we already talked about that earlier, but... It's throwing driving us Driving home, it was like 6.30. Dark. Feels like it's almost time for bed when really, you know, back in the summer, you'd have three or four hours of sunlight left. Yeah. Uh, we need to change all of our... Um, Two or three. Regular clocks. Yeah, that clock is wrong. Um, analog, analog clocks, that's what I meant to say, I couldn't think. But I think we also need to change, like, our microwave clock. So, folks, we are going to call it a night. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate you watching. And, um, if you enjoyed the video, please like it and please subscribe. One more, one more thing. Did you say anything about the 300 subscribers yet? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Woo! 300 subscribers! Uh, welcome all of our new subscribers. Hello there. Thank you for subscribing and um, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy our vlogs. So we will see you next time on It's the Reads. Good night. See ya.